Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you my entire Raja Parfums fragrance collection. Now, I don't have many fragrances in this collection, but I figured I'd share with you guys every single one I have since you seem to really love these videos. So, let's get into it. First things first, every single one of these but one I purchased myself. None of these were sent to me to review, and the one that was given to me is a partial that was given to me by a friend. So none of these fragrances in any capacity were sent to me to review or as gifts from the company or anything like that. I purchased these. Raja is an extremely high-end luxury fragrance house. Um, I think their most expensive bottle is Haute Lux. I believe it retails for $3,500. I have smelled it, I do love it. Uh, if I had the money, I would buy it. It is a house that to me isn't about innovation, but is about quality. So when you purchase a fragrance from Raja or whenever there's a new release from this house, I don't expect the composition to be anything new, but I do expect it to be the best of the best in regards to just how it smells on the skin, how it performs, and just the quality of ingredients. Now, some people think that these are overpriced and aren't worth it, and I think that's a totally valid assessment, but I personally do really love these fragrances, and obviously, I've bought a bunch of them. So, let's get into the list. So, the first one I ever purchased was Enslaved the Parfum. Now, this one, to me, just smells amazing. It smells like those classic scents that you just absolutely love, very reminiscent of, say, Shalimar or Chanel Number no. 5. Just those classic, sophisticated, elegant, and mature scents that I absolutely love. I do own the Parfum version. Um, this is just made me fall in love with the house, this particular scent. I wear it not a lot because this type of scent doesn't work well in the environment that I lived or I used to live. It's more fitting for colder environments, but I do love wearing it and I do get compliments when I wear this. It just smells so pretty. One that's a little bit more um, universal in regards to you could wear it day or night, hot or cold, is the Lily the Eau de Parfum. This is a very light, really beautiful uh, floral scent. It's very feminine, it's just really gorgeous. I think this is the second or third bottle I bought and I do really love it. This is Danger, uh, the Parfum. I love this one so much. It's really beautiful. Again, it's very complex. It has a lot of depth to it and it just sits on the skin so beautifully. I think the second bottle of Raja I ever purchased was Beguiled, the Parfum. This one is very complex, very beautiful. It dances on the skin. It's sweet and floral. It just has kind of like this beautiful whimsy in the back of it. Again, I'm not going into all the notes in this video or breaking down the scent because I don't want this video to be too long. I will have all reviews linked below, just kind of giving you my gist about why I love them so much. And this one particularly is really beautiful and won me over. Now Gardenia from Raja, I don't want to say this is my least favorite that I own. It's the one that I find I wear and I love, but I find it to be less exciting than the others. Do not get me wrong, it is a beautiful scent. I really, really like it. I think I did a first impressions on this fragrance, and Gardenia in and of itself is like a ghost flower. It's hard to, or nearly impossible to um, get Gardenia. You have to kind of mimic it with other white florals. And this scent just does such a beautiful job. It's just so pretty. But when it comes to the other fragrances um, in Raja's line, I find it to be a little less special than some of the others. Now these last two are my favorite of the line. That's why I'm saving them. The first is Amber Oud Parfum. I bought the big bottle of it. If you are an Oud lover or if you are a fragrance collector, this is one of the scents that I think people need to have in their collection in some capacity. It doesn't have to be a full bottle. It can be a decant. It can be a sample. But I think owning this scent in your collection is just going to like kind of round out a collection for people who love oud scents, for people that love gourmands, for people who like decadent, beautiful fragrances. I definitely think this will help round out a collection if that's what you're trying to do. But again, I'm not saying you have to own the bottle. A sample or a decant would be just fine. Just being able to wear this and have this and layer this with other things too. This scent layers beautifully 
with some of the harder to wear oud scents or even some very vanilla like really chocolatey gourmands this layers beautifully and adds a lot of depth and complexity to those scents so this was something i wanted to add to my collection because of that last and not least and this was a blind buy. These other ones I tried before, except for maybe Enslaved, I don't remember. It's been a long time, but this was a complete and utter blind buy for me. And it's Kingdom of Bahrain. This scent is just magnificent. It smells so good. There's a lot of complexity in this scent. There's a lot of notes in this scent. There's a lot of woods. There's a lot of aromatics. There's a lot of sweetness. There's a lot of bitterness in the scent. And it all comes together to this delicious kind of lemon biscuit-like scent that is in no way singularly just lemon biscuit. It's toasted, it's citrusy, it's bright, it's warm, it's woodsy, it's aromatic. It has so many different things going towards it. And it just comes together in this absolutely wearable and beautiful scent. I love this one so much. It is my absolute favorite. And I think I might have never purchased it. I might have never tried it. I was just at the store on a whim. Somebody had returned it and I was like, you know what, I'll buy it, I'll rescue that bottle. And it was love at first sniff. This one's amazing. So Kingdom of Bahrain is my favorite Raj of Parfum currently. I do have Scandal Pour Femme too in more of a smaller capacity. But anyway, guys, that is my Raja Parfum collection. Um, it is not big or impressive by any means, but I do really love this house. Now, this house is expensive. Do I think it is worth it? It depends, really. The thing with Raja is that these fragrances, you can find these same compositions cheaper. So I don't think that you need to own any of these fragrances. There's nothing new or innovative. But if you're a collector that likes to collect quality and luxury and niche, I think this is a house definitely worth checking out. You don't have to own the bottles to get the beauty of this. I mean, the presentation is impeccable. And I definitely know that that is what you're paying for. You're paying for the bottles, you're paying for the caps, you're paying for the packaging. Um, but the quality of the juice, I think, is exceptional. And everyone agrees with me, that's totally okay. You can purchase what you want. But I do think that this entire line of scents is something that I personally enjoy and I love to collect. But like I said before, um, I had to say, if you had to get any scent from this line, if you just wanted to really experience this line in its capacity, its uniqueness, its beauty, its wearability, I definitely think that Amber Oud is probably the best bet because to me, this kind of symbolizes everything that the house stands for in regards to quality of ingredients, kind of beautifully, uh, how it beautifully executes this composition of sweet, and oud and aromatic and woody and just comes together to create something really wearable but unique and beautiful and at the same time a very familiar composition that you can wear anywhere and it's not going to detract people it's not one of those niche scents that are more challenging and although those scents are beautiful do not get me wrong if you're going to be spending this much money on a perfume you probably want to be able to wear it more than one or two places but that's just my thoughts so this is probably the fragrance i would recommend as an introductory into raja again you do not need to buy a full bottle of this you can get a decant a partial a sample um, just being able to experience the scent will kind of give you some insight into the entire house just my personal opinion but this is a house that I love and I do collect. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not critical of this house and that doesn't mean that I will purchase everything from this house. There are scents from this house that I'm not particularly proud of and are not particularly fond of and there are scents from this house that I do find to be overpriced for what they are. So I'm not going to sing this house completely unbiased praises but generally what I found 75-80% of the time is fragrances that I love. I love the quality, I love the way they smell and I do love to collect them because I also think the bottles are really pretty. In any case guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, don't forget to let me know what you think below of this house, good or bad. Feel free to let me know what you guys think. I know that there's a lot of polarizing opinions on this house. I definitely like these videos to reflect all opinions on the house, not just my own. So let me know in the comment section below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.